Hey guys, today I'm attempting Kylie Jenner's makeup look. This is my inspo pick. Her skin is literally so like matte and like so smooth like she has a beauty filter on in real life. I'm just going in with the Fenty Ease Drop Stick. I'm also going to go in with a bit of the Kosas, um foundation. Okay, one thing I am worried about is my lashes because I really wanted to get like falsies for this. I just don't have any like lash glue. Okay, I think we're going to go straight into brows. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I just don't do brows. I just like suck at doing them. Like I have like no brow shape, oh god. Okay, I'm gonna attempt this off camera and I'll see how it goes. I look angry. It's giving angry bird. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to fix them with concealer. Yay. Okay, I tried. I'm not gonna touch them any further. I'm just gonna put some gel on. Alright, for contour, I'm using Fenty's Cream Contour. Kylie's face is literally snatched in all her photos. Okay, I'm also going in with a bit of Patrick Ta's face cream contour. Kylie's under eyes are super bright, so I'm just going in with a bit of my Rare Beauty eye brightener. Kylie's blush in that photo is really like baby pink. I'm using Patrick Ta's pink blush. This is in the shade She's a Doll. Okay, concealer, I'm going in with Hourglass Concealer. This concealer is super creamy and full coverage, which I think is perfect. If you guys can't tell, I'm going for Kylie Jenner's like 2016 makeup look. Okay, now I'm going to bake with the Huda Beauty powder. I totes forgot she contours her nose. So I'm going to do that with the Fenty contour stick. Okay, I don't think this looks horrible. Okay, now I can put the powder on. I think powder is so important for her makeup look because everything is so matte and flawless. Her jawline is like absolutely insane in that photo. Her forehead's also like kind of bright. Okay, I've decided to brighten up my eyes a bit with concealer. All right, for eyes, I'm doing a bit of bronzer. Looks like she just has some warm bronzer on her eyelids. Okay, I'm gonna try and make my lashes as long as possible without falsies. Okay, I tried. I'm gonna put some of this like glitter pencil. It's from Benefit and I'm just gonna do it on like the inside of my eyelid. Blend it with my finger. Okay, I also did like black liner. I don't know, I'm gonna wipe off the powder now. Okay, I'm gonna put on a bit of this NARS liquid blush, just because I think this is like the perfect color. Alright, powder bronzer. Once again, this is just the powder version of the cream bronzer that I used. Okay, now highlight. Her highlight's super bright and poppin'. Like, that's gorgeous. Her nose highlight is specifically super bright. Okay, I'm just realizing she has a bit of shadow under her eye, too. This is so scary. Also doing my bottom lashes, which is something I never do. This is the closest shade I could find to the photo. It's from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade of Caramel. Using Rhodes Lip Tint in the shade Toast. Okay, wait, I'm back because I forgot to put this powder blush on top. This is the Patrick Ta powder blush. There we go. Now I'm done. Hi, guys. Um, Louis Vuitton just sent me a package. I cannot believe those words just came out of my mouth. This is actually, like, crazy. Like, I don't know what to say. I'm just gonna open it because I'm, like, so excited. I know it's from Louis Vuitton because the address says Louis Vuitton. And my team also told me that Louis Vuitton was sending me a package. Really, what is life right now? <laughs> ah! There is no way that I'm like holding this right now. I'm literally like speechless. I've never bought anything from Louis Vuitton, so this is like my first Louis Vuitton package. And the fact that they sent it to me, it's like baffling, like mind blowing. I've had like a hand me down Louis Vuitton, but I've never bought anything from there. Okay, I'm like really scared right now. I don't know why. I don't want to look at it. Okay, it's in a bag. I'm not gonna cry. Oh, what? Oh, I'm sh my legs are like shaking. Look at how cute this is. I'm pretty sure this is from their new like Valentine's Day collection. Life is not real. Literally what is happening? So cute it's like i have to try this on ah! hello what look at the detailing on the chain it's so cute thank you so much louis vuitton i don't know what to do
this is your sign to start social media because Louis Vuitton just sent me a bag. Like, I actually feel like I'm dreaming, but I just posted an unboxing video right below this, so if you guys want to go watch. I've noticed that a lot of you guys comment on my videos and talk about how you want to start social media, but you're, like, too scared to do it because you're afraid of what people will say about you at school or just, like, hate in general, which is, like, totally understandable because I don't think anyone willingly wants to get hate on the internet. But like getting hate is just part of being like a content, social, whatever, creator, influencer. I can promise you literally everyone who has like a social media platform gets hate. Like it doesn't matter how nice you are, how transparent, how realistic, people will always hate you. That's just kind of how the internet works. You know, you can never win with the internet. But then you'll also have a bunch of people that love you, support you, and enjoy watching your videos. And that's really all that matters. I never like intentionally wanted to have like a platform kind of just like happened randomly which I'm so grateful for and I wouldn't want to have it any other way I love what I do but then again I was super sensitive because I wasn't used to getting like thousands of opinions from a bunch of people on the internet but over time you do get used to it and it does get so much better at like ignoring it I always say this I feel like when you have haters that's when you know you've like made it because you're like relevant enough for people to shit on you which may sound stupid, but that's just kind of how I see it. I get that it might be different in high school because people can be mean in high school, but at the end of the day, you're doing what you love and you're making bank from it. I also feel like the people who are really successful on social media is because they actually love what they do. They have like a passion for it and they're not just in it for money. Like obviously money is good, but like you gotta do it because you love it. If it makes you feel any better, I started my TikTok in high school. Oh my gosh, my one year on TikTok is coming up so soon. This is actually crazy. I can't believe it's already been a year, but also, like, it's only been a year. And I feel like so much has happened, like, so much has changed, like, huh. Anyways, I was also in my senior year, though, so I was about to graduate, so, like, no one really cared. Also, no one really knew who I was at school, because I transferred there in, like, grade 11, and I talked to, like, two people. Like, I'm not even joking. But yeah, guys, just do it. <laughs> it could change your life. Bye, guys! Hey guys, so the month is coming to an end, so I thought I'd show you guys my January favorites. Starting off with hair, if you guys can't tell, I chopped off like all my hair, and I'm really determined to keep it like super healthy and soft, because my hair used to be so bleached and damaged, so I used the Function of Beauty Pro shampoo and conditioner. This conditioner mask specifically has helped my hair so much. I leave it in for like 10 minutes before the shower. My hair has never been so soft. It's a Bon Repair custom conditioner mask. So it's for anyone who has damaged hair. Next, I've really been loving the Rode Milky Toner and the Peptide Glazing Fluid. This combo is like unmatched. Makes your skin so soft and glowy. The Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Serum. This is probably like the best hyaluronic serum ever. And the packaging is so fun. These eye patches from Peter Thomas Roth. But they're actually so hydrating and they feel so good under your eyes. This Ilia concealer, I literally just tried this a few days ago and I'm already obsessed. It's just so creamy and like blendable. Say Do Blush is probably the best like liquid blushes out there. And the new Summer Fridays lip oils. Literally so good. Bye guys. Hey guys, get ready with me for a scavenger hunt in New York City. It's like 7 a.m. right now, which may not seem that bad, but back at home, it's 4 a.m. because of the time difference. I'm actually so tired, but I'm so excited for the scavenger hunt. We're with Fenty, and they organized like a whole scavenger hunt around the city, and I'm so excited. We're doing... <laughs> Come in! <laughs> Morning. <laughs> We're doing so many fun activities today. I don't know like half of the activities plan, but I know like some of it. And we're also going to do some shopping. I love shopping in New York City. It's the best. I was just about to put on concealer, but I just remember they told me not to put any concealer on today because apparently I'm going to be putting on a lot of concealer throughout the whole day. Am I mumbling? I feel like ugh, I'm mumbling right now. It's so early. We have to leave in like 10 minutes and I was going to redo my hair, but I guess I'm not going to. Oh my God, I forgot how fast this Benetton dries. It's like leaking down my face. Hee <laughs> hee. Like her miniature little <laughs> hair straightener. Perfect for travels. Um, I got this shirt yesterday. Ooh. It says, FBI New York, Kitty Bad, New York, New York, 10036. <laughs> Oops. Today, I'm in the search for golden gooses. I used to really not like them, but my For You page has been all golden gooses and they've been looking really cute lately especially the new york city themed ones those are so cute so they have them i really want to get them today favorite deodorant everybody go buy this now if you want to smell amazing okay y'all this is my ootd things really cute the shoes are pink like my top bye guys 
Okay guys, I used to be so against like golden gooses, but I found a pair today and look at how insanely gorgeous these are. I wasn't a fan of like the dirty look, but since this is all like sparkly, it's you can't even tell that they're dirty. And I also got it customized. I got this cheetah star and I made the back like pink. I think they're so cute. And then to go with these, I got some custom laces. These are like cheetahs with a star with stars on it. And I think they're so cute. It goes so well with the star on the shoe. And yeah, I'm so happy I got these. These were such a good purchase. And I'm going to wear these tonight. Scavenger hunt. Okay, it's 8.16 right now. And we just got our first hint. Clue number one. Welcome back to New York City. Today we're going to be taking you around the city that never sleeps with a little fancy twist. The perfect tourist spot where you'll see the digital billboards. Where is that going to be? <laughs> in, in Times Square. Oh no. <laughs> what do you know? And not only that, um, once you go there, go to your favorite destination for shopping all things beauty and skin. Where is that? Sephora. <laughs> so we're going to Times Square. Times Square in the daylight. We made it to the Sephora. We are here before Sephora's even opened. Fenty's letting us <laughs> Fenty's letting us pick out anything on their section. Got this powder. Chelsea's getting a lip gloss. Getting her a cream bronzer. Um, we just had some breakfast and we devoured everything already, but I got an ice vanilla latte and a little sandwich. It was really good. Okay guys, we got the second hint. We're going to Rockefeller Center to go ice skating. Hey guys, we're skating right now. chocolate <laughs> hey guys we're getting wings now so the third hint was to go to my favorite like food place and i love chicken wings so garlic pepper boneless wings with ranch next we went to the met it was so much fun we sat on the steps where gossip girl was filmed and we did lots of shopping it was such a good shop day we got lots and lots of good things and then we wanted to go to the edge but we got there late and they closed at 8 p.m Sushi right now. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Cheers. Switch. Switch. Garlic and amame. Nine out of ten. Mini vegetable tacos. Uh oh. Seven out of ten. Shishito pepper. Always a ten out of ten. Jalapeno, cauliflower, a solid 7 out of 10. I give it like a 6. Hey guys, I forgot to vlog the rest, but we're going to bed now. So my sister's last day at Aritzia is in two days. So you already know I had to take advantage of her discount. So I'm going to show you guys everything that I got. If you've worked at Aritzia, you know the discount is bomb. First thing I got is this pink shirt. I have this shirt in like so many colors. It reminds me of Skims. It fits so well. And I think this color is like limited, so it's so cute. And then I got this white kind of like off the shoulder top and it ties at the front. I think it's so like unique. It's really cute and I feel like it's cute for going out. This I'm so excited for. It's like a halter net talk. It's perfect for summer. It's a dress, sorry. And it's like white and flowy. Like just imagine this on the beach. It's so cute. And then this I'm really excited about too. It's a green like sweater i've been looking for like an oversized like type of pattern like little stripes kind of and it's really thick really good material 90 percent of my hoodies are from aritzia aritzia has like the best hoodies and my gray one's my favorite one but it shrunk in the dryer so i got another one but this one's like the oversized version i'm also traveling a lot so these hoodies are like perfect for the airport so soft and then i got this denim skirt Ooh, this is so long i think i might have gotten the wrong size okay i'm gonna try it on for you guys now Okay, this is the pink shirt. I have a sports bra under, so that's why it looks kind of weird here. But I'm literally obsessed with the color. Okay, and then this is the white shirt. This is so cute and flattering. Okay, I don't know how to feel about the skirt. Like, I definitely could have sized down, but I feel like it just fits weird. Okay, I'm like obsessed with this dress. Definitely need to tighten it a bit more, but I'm just too lazy right now. But this is so perfect for summer. Guys, this sweater, I'm so obsessed with it. It's so soft. And it's so cute on. This is exactly what I was looking for. Almost forgot about their hoodie, but it literally just fits so perfectly. Okay, I'm about to go out, but I want to show you guys this moisturizer that's a perfect primer for your makeup. This is Summer Friday's Rich Cushion Cream, and it's so perfect for winter because the richness hydrates your skin all throughout winter, or if you just have dry skin in general. 
It has a thick and silky formula and it just instantly plumps your skin and it also works as a perfect primer for under your makeup. I'm gonna do my makeup and I'll come back to show you guys how it looks on top. Okay, I'm back with my makeup on. Like, my skin looks so glowy and it also just gives you that, like, dewiness and that shine. Then I apply my Summer Fridays lip oil on top. This is their new lip oil, by the way, guys. It's so good. It's in the shade Blush Dreams. Obsessed. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Get ready with me to go get my nails done. First of all, thank God it's the last day of the month. This has been the slowest month ever. It felt like it was 40 years. Like, I don't know if it was just me, but this month has just been so uneventful, dry, and boring. And I'm just ready for it to be over. Anyways, I've been letting my nails grow out for the past, like, three weeks because they've just been so unhealthy. Okay, so I'm debating between two different sets of nails. This is option number one. That was actually a picture of my nails last year. I just love the way they turned out last year and I think they're so simple and cute for Valentine's Day. I'm also going to Fashion Week next week, which I'm so excited about, you guys. Um, but yeah, I think those nails are really perfect and simple for Fashion Week because I don't want to do too much and have it clash with my outfit. But I'm just stuck on the fact that I already did them last year. I don't want to redo it, but I don't know. Okay, this is the second option. I think those are so cute and perfect for Valentine's Day. I think I'm definitely leaning towards the second option just because I haven't done like a cool design on my nails in a while. But let me know what you guys think. Also, there's been so many new products coming out lately. This is one of them. This is the Kosas BB Burst. I think this comes out tomorrow, but it literally says top secret until 1.25. I haven't unpacked my makeup bag at all because I'm traveling again next week, so I don't see the point. Okay, this is a little secret, but Tower 28 is coming out with lip balms. I'll do a review in a separate video, including like the milk jelly tints that I want to eat so bad. But yeah, literally what I'm saying, there's so many new beauty products coming out recently. I, I'm so overwhelmed. Okay, Patrick Tower recently restocked all his blushes in Sephora, so I got the shade She's Wanted. I've been trying to get my hands on this blush for the longest time. Look how gorgeous that is. It's like a deep berry red. I love these type of blushes. I always do the cream first and then the powder on top. Okay, I also got the Fenty Loose Powder, which I've been dying to try for oh, the longest time. And I finally got it i got this on my trip with fenty and i got this in the shade lavender they also let me get the shade banana but i'm trying lavender today okay i just realized i didn't even put on concealer this is the born this way concealer. it's a little yellow because this is my summer shade but on the packaging of this it says it's really good for brightening so it'll brighten this up also all the packaging for fenty is like so gorgeous oh my gosh it smells like cupcakes i want to eat this I think I'm going to tap it in because I don't want it to be giving flashback Mary. Okay, that's so pretty. I'm going to do a bit setting spray. Anyways, life update. I did my first midterm um, like two days ago and it actually went so well. I'm not going to lie. I was stressing for this test because I've just been all over the place recently. I've been so busy and I was just really worried that this test wasn't going to turn out the way I hoped it would. We only had an hour to do 100 questions. I just remember looking at the timer and having like two minutes left with five questions remaining. So that was just part A of my midterm. There's two parts to my midterm. And then I have this huge paper due for business in a few weeks. Also, guys, when I was in New York last week, we went to Lip Lab. And we got to customize our own, like, lip gloss and lipsticks. This is the lip gloss that I made. I think it's so cool. I put, like, shimmers in it. And it has my name on the tube, which is so unique. And I did vanilla scented. It takes me back to, like, elementary school. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that so cool? Like, I made this lip gloss. It's so pretty. And I also got to make, like, a little lipstick. This is what it looks like. This is my name on the top too. And then we got like lip scrubs. They gave us a goodie bag, which was so nice of them. A bunch of like lip liners. I'll do more of like an in-depth like review in another video. But yeah, I just think that these are so cool and unique. Anyways, bye guys. Guys, I just scrolled through my TikTok account and all my videos with sounds on it just all got removed. Not gonna lie, I did see a bunch of people making TikToks about how all these sounds were gonna be removed, but I didn't think it was actually true. I don't know, I feel like I'm just so used to, like, not believing anything on social media, especially TikTok, because half of the news is, like, fake. But I woke up this morning, and all my videos with, like, popular sounds just got removed. And it's all, like, the top popular creators, like, Drake, Taylor Swift, Kanye, and, like, all the popular sounds. And I don't know who made this decision, if it was TikTok or, like, these artists themselves, but I personally think that this was not a smart move. I feel like a lot of people discover the music that's really popular and trendy today, like, through TikTok, so... I honestly feel like this might have a really big impact on these, like, artists. I don't know, I know, like, me personally, I found a lot of music that I really liked, like, through TikTok, I hate to admit that, but it's true. 
and also we won't be able to hear or like use our favorite music on tiktok anymore which sucks so bad especially the edits like i know y'all be watching the jacob lordy edits but i've been watching ross lynch day and night also ignore how disgustingly greasy my hair is i was gonna wash it but i want to do a slick back on like galentine's day my friends and i are having galentine's day in like two days and i don't want to wash my hair because i want to slick it back but it's getting so greasy also guys happy first of the month i'm so glad it's february i feel like i was stuck in january for like an endless loop i feel like i didn't start this month the way i hoped it would have started off i set so many goals for myself and i thought that i'd start off the new year fast paced and like getting my shit together but i feel like january is just so depressing i was rotting in bed basically half of this month like don't get me wrong i did some really fun <gasps> As I was saying, I did some really fun stuff this month, or I should say last month, I guess. But I feel like I definitely could have done better mentally and actually followed through with the goals that I set for myself. I don't know, I feel like January is just depressing, period, and like, the next couple months are gonna be good. Also, guys, my tattoo appointment is in three days, and I still haven't decided exactly what I want. But I'm actually so excited. I've wanted a tattoo for the longest time. I used to be so against them when I was little. Well, I was against basically everything as a child. But I have some ideas. My mom came up with a few ideas for like tattoo designs. And I just need to pick like a final design. But yeah, I'm actually so excited to get it. I'm so excited to show you guys too what it'll end up looking like. Speaking of like the next couple months, I'm actually so excited for the next couple months especially this year i feel like there's so many exciting things happening i wish i could just tell you guys everything now but secrets okay i feel like trying brown mascara today so i'm using this one from ysl i honestly don't know if it'll show up because my lashes are very dark naturally okay wait i actually eat that up okay brown mascara might be my new thing because this looks so good also got a new patrick Tao lip gloss the other day i've been wanting to try his glosses for the longest time it's so good it's plumping but it doesn't like sting i hate plumps but this is like the perfect cooling texture and it's so good oopsies <gasps> Hi guys guys there's been so much new like makeup recently and i just want to review them these new like tower 28 lip balms look how cute they are the favorite part might be my applicator some of you guys might hate this because it's like a rounded applicator but this reminds me of like lip balms from grade 7 okay the first shade i'm trying is in the shade deluce and it's kind of like this mauve-ish color oh my goodness this tastes like this tastes like bubble tea that is actually gorgeous it tastes like brown sugar it's so good Next, I'm trying Watermelon Kiwi. This is like a pinkish color. Not my favorite scent, but really pretty on the lips. Next, this one is Vanilla, and it's very dark, so... Oh, that's actually really pretty once you, like, blend it out. This color is so pretty. This one is called Blood Orange Vanilla. That sounds dangerous, but... This one tastes really good. I love, like, citrusy stuff. Last one is just Clear. I wonder if this has a scent though. Nope, unscented. Okay, next, bitch. This is the new milk um, jelly tint. I got these for the first time a few weeks ago and I had to put them away because I just wanted to eat this. I think I just have to do it. I want to bite into it so bad. Look, it's like. <gasps> ah! Oh my gosh, it's literal like gelatin. Should I do it, guys? I kind of really want to eat this. Oh my goodness. Which one should I eat? It's so satisfying. Okay, there's this like purple one. I want to eat one of the clear ones. Guys, this is not edible and you shouldn't eat this because you could die. But I just have to. <gasps> uh, that was the most satisfying thing I've ever done in my life. Okay, wait, I actually feel kind of bad now because it's missing half its head. It feels so good on your cheeks. It's, like, so cooling. I've been dying to try this Too Faced lip gloss for the longest time. I saw someone review it, and it just makes your lips so juicy and plump. I wanted to get the shade Bubblegum, but it was sold out, so I got the shade Raspberry. And look at all the, like, sparkles inside. I just have to test this out on my own. It tastes like candy you would buy when you were little. I hate how small it is. Okay, but that shine, though. I do wish this was a bit bigger, but it's so pretty. Okay, next, I want to show you guys what I got from Lip Lab. Lip Lab is a place where you make your own, like, lip products. So I went to one in New York, and I made my own customized lip gloss. Look how cool that is. It has my name on, like, the tube and everything, and the color is custom-made by me. 
And then I also made my own customized like lipstick. It has my name on the top as well and it's so pretty. And then they also gave us a little goodie bag which comes with a bunch of these lip liners that I can't wait to try. And then they gave us a lip scrub which is so good because my lips are always so dry. It's so, oops, so perfect for chapped lips. Look how cool that is. They even made me a lip balm with a customized cap with my at on it. Okay, I'm gonna line my lips with the lip liner. That was in this shade. Okay, now I'm putting on some of my customized lip gloss. It's so cool. Okay, and I've been wanting to try Patrick Ta's lip oil for the longest time, so I finally got it. This is in the shade 2CC's, and I'm just gonna put it directly on top of what I have already. So a bit of like a lip plumping gloss. These are all the brands I worked with in 2023. So in honor of my one year on TikTok being a few days ago, I thought that this was the perfect time to do this video. Okay, so when I first started TikTok, I think the first brand that reached out to actually work together was Glow Recipe, which honestly made so much sense because I feel like the toner is kind of what started my whole like TikTok. I was still in high school, so I had no idea what the fuck I was doing, and I just signed the contract so fast. Thank God it was Glow Recipe and not some sketchy-ass brand that probably would have fucked me over. Anyways, the contract ended on December, and we're actually renewing it because I love working with them, and I already organically use their products like in all my videos and love them so much. Okay, I think I'm just gonna list all my long-term partnerships first because I feel like that just makes sense. Keep in mind, I only do long-term partnerships with brands that I already use all the time. So the next one being The Ordinary, which makes so much sense my routine always consists of something the ordinary like especially their hyaluronic serum i use that almost every single day i just love the ordinary skincare so easy to use and so accessible okay i think i accidentally deleted a clip but one of the long-term partnerships is say duh i'd be using this shit every day i love all their products they're amazing okay so those are the only three brands that i have like a long-term partnership with i know you guys are gonna ask about fenty i love fenty they're probably one of the brands that i have the closest relationship to but i've never actually worked with them they are the brand that spoils me to the absolute max like they did something for my graduation my birthday it's insane however i'm pretty sure they have a really strict like legal policy where you have to be of age so 18 to work with them and i just turned 18 last month my team did tell me though that something is brewing up so I'm really excited to work with them in the future okay the next brand is Kosas I love Kosas so much I'm really close with one of the girls that work there the whole team is just so sweet and they actually gifted me this K necklace that I'm wearing for my birthday which was so sweet I wear it every day then we have Glossier Glossier was an absolute fever dream because I grew up using Glossier I'm like reading down the list I made on my book okay next is super goop Kid you not, that was the only sunscreen I used all year. We have Summer Fridays. I actually went to their holiday party and it was like one of my first ever like events and it was so fun. Also, the owners of Summer Fridays are the sweetest people you'll ever meet. Can you guess the next one? Sol de Janeiro, I partnered with them last summer and it was so amazing. Next, we have Milk Makeup, which I love. They're so awesome and so easy to work with. And then Function of Beauty, which is the shampoo and conditioner that I use all the time. Wait, actually, I think I'm in a long-term partnership with them. Okay, period. And Tatcha was almost one of them. I sent over an offer in January, but it just didn't work out with my schedule. So hopefully in the future, because I love Tatcha so much. That's the majority of skincare and makeup brands I can think of off the top of my head that I've worked with. Literally mind-blowing to think that I could work with all my favorite brands just within a year of starting TikTok. And it's literally all thanks to you guys. Also, can we talk about the fact that there's almost 5 million of you? Like, that's just so crazy to me and crazy to say out loud. And I just want to thank all the brands that have been so kind and nice to me. And of course, my team for literally making me who I am today. Bye, guys. Guys, TikTok needs to stop automatically translating their captions. It's pissing me off so much. Especially because half my captions are GRWM and it translates to crumb. When I put the GRWM in all caps, it translates to group. And like, now you guys are so confused about why my captions are so random. But guys, I swear I'm not intentionally doing it. It's TikTok that's literally translating everything. It's so annoying. Like, I don't even know what to caption my videos anymore. All my videos are always GRWM. And now it's just like, what do I even put? Speaking of TikTok, they should also have a feature where you can change your thumbnail after posting a video. BRB, gonna go wash my face. I was just talking to someone else about this, but my thumbnails are like the biggest part of my videos. I don't know why, I just care about that so much. Sometimes I get this like bomb ass thumbnail, I post it, and then TikTok like glitches, and then the thumbnail just reverts back to like its original frame. It's literally the most annoying fucking thing ever. Or sometimes it glitches at me like mid blinking or like mid doing something, I look so stupid. 
you know what tiktok should also bring back pinning comments like where did that go i don't know why they took that feature away that was probably one of their best features just to pin like your favorite comment tiktok adds like the stupidest things on this app but then they get rid of like the best features such as removing all the good sounds wait that wasn't tiktok though anyways guys i was just scrolling through all my videos and i just realized that i'm literally documenting my whole life like i can look back on these videos and be like oh my goodness this was me two three years ago and i could also show my kids these videos in the future i just think it's so crazy that these videos and these like memories are just gonna be here forever but i love that also my hair loki looks like a slick back but i didn't use any gel this is all just grease my hair's just fucking greasy because i don't want to wash it because i want to actually slick it back tomorrow speaking of tomorrow i have a galentine's day with my friends and i'm so excited it's gonna be so much fun i feel like i've been home for the past like couple days i just have so much like homework to do i have this huge assignment due in like two days but i'm excited to have a break from it all and just hang out with my friends bye guys